The moist blanket of breath fell over me the second I stepped out of the superior apartment. I double checked the doors to make sure it's locked. Then we all skipped stepping down small, scrubby, and slim concrete staircases. Our destination is to go to the restaurant with the family, which includes grandpa, grandma, mom, dad, sister, and my little brother. Our fresh smelling bodies and empty stomachs are striving for food. Suddenly, a swamp of heat surrounding me like it was my personal air bubble. As my breathing cycle runs faster, my lung keep gasping for more air. Then salty water starts to rise up my nose and my upper lip. My body is a piece of chocolate standing under the sun. My sandals platform is becoming slippery and harder to walk in them. As that is happening, my legs begin to feel weak and tired. The heat provider is being shy today. He peeked at the city a bit by bit. As we are pounding into the main street, the volume of the sound, people, increased while the appearance of the tree decreasing one by one. People are yelling, convincing, bargaining, and eating breakfast while they're walking. The busy schedule people fill the bus like an air filling a bubble gum. Humans waiting for the bus as they're staring at their watches and tapping their feet waiting for the bus to come. A lonely plastic bag tumbling on the middle of the streets, wandering like a last child. I see many teenagers rushing to go to school with their uniforms and workers speed walk into the workforce. On the right side of the sidewalk, food stands occupying every three meters on the way. On the far left, different stores line up in a circle. The gas from the buses and smoked cigarettes disgust me. It got caught in my throat and I couldn't get it out. It is depressing to know people make a living out of this place. Gray concrete roads, gray buildings, gray sidewalks. Everything just looked gloomy. It looked like one of those sad movies. I mean, I don't mind living here once in a while. Just to remind myself how lucky I am to live in a better place now. I keep slapping my leg to stop the itch from the new bitten mosquito bites. When the restaurant appeared closer, my siblings and I got a bit excited because we wanted a break from the bad smell. But unfortunately, people smoked inside the restaurant too.